Right, so I wanted to switch things up. I wanted to show you guys how and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's coming up to 8.20 right now. I'm walking to the office. I like walking. I don't do it often and I need to do it more, but I'm walking to the office. I'll be there in about 10 minutes. All right, so I've just got to the office. Uh, we're gonna now start smashing out my to-do list, which obviously is usually what I do on the iPad. I bang out what I'm gonna do today, the things that I need to make sure I don't forget. This, by the way, I've started to find very, very helpful. If you guys want me to do a video on like productivity and how I make my days productive, definitely comment below. Obviously, Muhammad is here. Elbi, give us a wave, give us a wave. Get, give us a wave, give us a wave. You see, he's not, more, he's not much of a morning person, but we'll catch up with him later on in the day. A vlog? Yeah, I'm doing a vlog today, innit? Hello? Huh? Yeah, you just. From this side. <laughs> from this side, yeah? From this side. You know, I was recording the whole thing, so it's just this side. Don't worry. You're gonna be blurred out, so they can't see you properly, innit? Mystery man, mystery man. But you're gonna do sales calls, what? This, this afternoon, yeah? And then everyone, everyone can watch you do the sales calls. Interesting. But you got some experience, so it's all right. Okay, so anyway, this morning, I'm not gonna lie, man. I've just been chilling a little. I am looking, inshallah, to book a holiday to Dubai. So I've kind of been busy doing that. In the afternoon, though, we're gonna start doing sales calls. I've got my man here today who's visiting me and he will be doing sales calls as well. So I will go through it with him. I will go through it with you guys. Hopefully you guys can get an understanding of how to do it. And then I'll keep you updated with how the day goes and exactly what we do today. Yeah? Not having naps. You're meant to be working. Oh, let me, loud. please don't talk loud. Let me sleep. Oh, sorry, Mahima. I'm calling from Frank Corey. I just wanted to see if you possibly might be looking for uh, assembly production sort of guys at the moment. The Adam, uh, they got made redundant, you see, they were local to you, so I thought I'd ask a question. Neville, do you say? Neville, oh, Neville, sorry. Yeah, 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 no problem. Ready to make calls Let me see. for the whole of YouTube. No, let me do a few for the no, no, first call. The whole of YouTube no, is gonna no. know Muhammad, <laughs> the legend. Yeah, I'm ready, but I'm you gonna make a few and let me hear a few. You heard me yesterday, bro. Come on, no, I didn't don't, don't fake it now, bro. Don't fake it now. Bro. I'm not okay. It's ready, bro. You're, it's, it's your time to shine. I swear I'm gonna do it. Your time to well, shine. Who am I asking for? Assembly style. Yeah. <coughs> Right, so this guy, yeah, I'm having to move the camera because he wants it on the other side. No, I'm a, I'm a tell him, bro. I'm a tell him, bro. I'm a tell him. Right. It's just because the phone. Welcome, welcome to Muhammad, who is making calls uh, today. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. We're gonna try our best. And he is representing everyone else. Representing the course students. The course students, the recruitment course students. He's representing. Huh? let's see if he can get some jobs today. You want to reduce the time between each call as much as possible. When okay. you do that, you will find that you're in rhythm. You have look, you you had you got a job on in your first call in essence, yeah. Okay. Now, in your second call, you wanna you wanna work on that and be like, boom, I need another one, I need another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? If sometimes what happens is you slow it down a little bit, then it's like a climbing a mountain every time when you're making a call. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you bang like 20 calls in like half an hour, you will feel amazing. Compared to 20 in like an hour or two hours. Hi there, good afternoon. It's Mo from. Hey, can I speak to Sean? <laughs> hey, Sean, it's uh, Mohammed from Frank. Call back in half an hour. That's, that's fine, no problem at all. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So you've, you've been very helpful today. I just wanted to understand do you, uh, do you know if you're looking for anyone actively at the moment? Okay, and have you been taking them on a contract or permanent basis? A mix of both. Okay, so that okay, that's great to know. So, uh, last thing, I don't want to keep you any longer. I know you're very busy. Um, do you have an email just in case that I can't get a hold of her in half an hour? Sonia, S O N I A, I'm assuming. Yeah, dot. Yeah, dot com. Perfect. So, thank you very much for your time. I do appreciate it. You've been very helpful. Have a lovely day. Bye. Fine. There we go, another one. What'd she say? She said, we've got jobs, we're actively looking, we use recruitment agencies. 
We use recruitment agencies, they're actively looking for someone and you need to speak contract to. Contract and permanent. Contract and permanent and yeah. you need to speak to. Sonia Meadway. It's not that hard when you start doing it, is it? No, it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, but that's probably, the luck is probably going to end now, isn't it? <laughs> two out of two. Yeah, listen, man. It's all about if you keep putting the, if you keep making these calls. Yeah. Look, at the end, what did I say to you? Two clients change your life. Yeah. Yes? No, it doesn't have to be these two clients, for example. But your first two calls, you got jobs, basically. Yeah. But if you call for six months and you get two clients, you've changed your life. So, you know what I mean? It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't... Proof is in the pudding, guys. Proof is in the pudding, huh? It's, it's working, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit sceptical, but it's real. It's real. <laughs> what did you say to me? You said, day one, you said to me, niche, listen, I don't know about the niche, I don't know about the niche. And a loads of men are saying to me, niche, I don't know about the niche. What do I say? Just get on the phone, start making the calls, start making mistakes, and you will learn from the mistakes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it, you call, now you said assembly, but you could have said nurse, bro. You could have said IT, you could have said accountant. It doesn't matter. Do you get what I'm saying? What you call the job does not matter as long as the client is looking for someone. So honestly, I would just say something like, I would, and I wouldn't say Manchester, I would just say like Ashton. It makes it that much more close. No, it makes it that much more personable when you say a town rather than a city. Oh, wow. It's easy to say Manchester or Birmingham but or I, London. But I could say Glossop. But when you say, for example, Hounslow, mm. all of a sudden, if you know Hounslow, that's a bit more like, ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it makes a big difference. So yeah, even more. Hello, good afternoon. It's Mohammed Frank Corey here. Um, I've just, I've just uh, come across yourselves. I've got a few guys that are local to you looking for work in the assembly line. Have you, do you know if you've got anything available for them? She, when she said that objection to me, what would I have said? Yeah, go on. I would have said, she would have said, oh, you know, we use other agencies. And what, so did you ask her the question, does she need anyone right now? She does need someone right now. Okay, fantastic. So I would have said, look, so for example, do that with me. Do you need anyone right now? What did she say roughly? Oh, she said roughly, uh, we, we are actively looking, but as I said, we only use this Promon agency mm -hmm. because it's not just a recruiting aspect. Mm -hmm. we also, uh, they also train up the, the people for us mm -hmm. and it becomes a supply issue as well mm -hmm. if, if, we, if we use multiple uh, agencies mm -hmm. that they can't, um, they can't manage that internally. That's okay. Something okay. to do with admin, they can't manage it internally. Okay, fantastic. Look, what I would say is, um, obviously I have got a couple of candidates in the local market looking for work actively at the moment. If this is something you're looking for, the least I'd like to do is put these candidates forward in front of the person who does recognize and understand whether this is right for them or not, and then they can make the call on it. I completely understand you don't want to use another recruitment company, but what I'm saying is these guys are out of work, will be looking for work, and therefore it'd be great to just ask that question. Do you think we could do that? Okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was... Wait, you stand this way, innit? You look bare dark there. Well, that was... oh, look, look, you look. All right. What advice would you give to someone who's 20 years old right now? Get a job, work for the next three years, okay. but have an escape plan. Okay. Good. Otherwise, by the time you get to 24, 25, there's no turning back. Why? Because you're, you're stuck in it, isn't it? Why, okay, why are you stuck? Because look, if you've done everything right, by the age of 21, you should graduate from university. Yep. And then um, after that, you're going to be working. And once you're in the work life for three to four years continuously, mm -hmm. you ain't leaving that, bro. Why, why wouldn't you leave it? You're not leaving it, innit? Why not? Gosh, man, how are you going to leave it, innit? By handing in your notice. No, but people haven't got the balls to do that. So because people don't have the balls, that's why they won't do it. And also, remember, they'll get married. Yeah. And they'll have children. And all of that. Yeah? That makes sense. Thank you for that advice. Mohammed, do you want to share something? <laughs> yeah, he's a good example, I would say. Oh, okay. He, okay. He Save. Doing yeah, that. advice. Advice. Um, I would say, enjoy life, but okay. make sure you have provisions for later on. So what I mean by that, make sure you put some money aside uh, uh, whilst you're young. Travel whilst you can. Um, what else would we do if we, if we could go back in time? Bro, you would do different things than me, though. That's why I'm asking for your advice. Okay, I would... What 
ask for that. Okay. To be honest, I've done everything right, innit? <laughs> <laughs> so it's 4.30. I'll be honest, the day's coming to an end. I have just been pure chilling today. I can't even lie. But I'm thinking of starting a channel where I do a few vlogs a day in my life, more of that stuff. And for you guys to see how I do what I do, how easy it is, how hard it is, um, other ideas that I'm coming up with, what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to achieve. So hopefully it can motivate you guys. Now, if you want me to do that, this video, 100 likes, and inshallah, I will get a video out on a new channel and we'll start a new channel where I keep you guys updated with what I'm doing on a daily basis. There's lots going on, by the way, in the next six months. If you want me to do that, and I think that would be of benefit for you guys to actually see me doing it in action, then cool. Subscribe to the channel that I've linked in the description below.